Hello everybody and welcome back to the monthly gaming news flashes where we talk about all that has transpired on the gaming front in rapid fire succession. We got a lot to cover so let's get right into it. Take-Two Interactive is taking over Codemasters, known for their Formula 1 and Dirt franchises. With this action, Take-Two wants to expand their portfolio, while Codemasters will be able to enjoy the experience Take-Two has when it comes to game distribution and marketing. Gabe Newell, Valve CEO, wants to launch a garden gnome into space. The little astronaut will be modeled after Chomsky, the garden gnome from the Half-Life franchise. The project, which is a wink to the Little Rocket Man achievement from Half-Life 2 Episode 2, will be more than just a publicity stunt. For every viewer who watches the launch online within 24 hours, Gabe Newell will donate an undisclosed amount for the intensive care unit of a New Zealand hospital. Staying on topic, Gabe Newell is actually stuck on New Zealand because of the corona crisis. However, he seems to be enjoying his time there, as he has already applied for a permanent visa. Gabe Newell does deny plans for a Valve office in New Zealand, but lets us know that he doesn't think it's a bad idea. Phil Spencer has confirmed that every Xbox exclusive will now also get a PC release and will be available on both the Windows Store and the Steam platform. Also, according to Phil Spencer, Microsoft is not obliged to release Bethesda games on the PlayStation 5 in order to recuperate their $7.5 billion investment, although they will consider exclusivity title by title, but chances are that games like Starfield and The Elder Scrolls 6 will be Windows exclusives. Crow Team, known for their Serious Sam franchise, has been bought by Devolver Digital, a logical step seeing their close relations. Indie publisher Annapurna Interactive is making its first step towards becoming an indie game developer. It has opened up its own in-house game development studio and is currently looking for a game director and producer for their first title. Staying on topic, Monolith Productions is looking for a new UI designer. This is the first sign that the development studio is working on another game since the release of Shadow of War three years ago. According to sources, Blizzard is no longer interested in developing RTS games and will also stop supporting StarCraft 2. No need to despair, however, as a group of Blizzard veterans who have earned their stripes with StarCraft and WarCraft have founded Frost Giant Studios and are currently working on a new RTS. After a 12-year career, Dave Kozak, the narrative designer for Hearthstone, is leaving Blizzard for Deviation Games. And even more are running away from Blizzard. Chris Metzen and Mike Gilmartin, who both held vice president roles at Blizzard, have co-founded Warchief Gaming. The little studio will currently be focusing on tabletop RPGs. Facebook has entered the cloud gaming race, but is currently focusing only on free-to-play titles. They will be playable from both a browser and the Facebook app. The third installment of the Dark Pictures Anthology will be named House of Ashes and will be situated in 2003's war-torn Iraq. EA has convinced their DICE shareholders that a new Battlefield game is in the works. The studio will be taking an extra year of development in order to bring us a true next-gen experience by the end of 2021. Darkest Dungeon 2 will be going into early access in the Epic Store next year. In Life Sim Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town, you will again swap your city life for the simple life of a peasant when you inherit an old farm from your late grandfather. Expect some fishing gameplay as well as Olive Town is situated near the coast. Ghost of Tsushima developer Sucker Punch is looking for screenwriters who have an interest in feudal Japan. This suggests that the studio has sequel plans. Documents allegedly plucked from the Crytek servers by hackers shows that the studio has, or had, plans for both a Rise and a Robinson sequel, as well as remakes for Crisis 2 and 3. Crash Bandicoot On The Run is a mobile running game that looks like a classic Crash title. The pooch runs forward automatically and only needs to be adjusted with taps and swipes. The adventure also gets crafting and base building mechanics in between levels. After Call of Duty Mobile and Crash Bandicoot on the run, Activision Blizzard also wants to develop mobile versions of their other top franchises. According to the publisher, mobile platforms offer the biggest growth opportunities. 
And the last bit of news comes from Shark Mob, as they are currently developing a battle royale game in the Vampires the Masquerades universe. Diverse vampire clans will be battling it out on the streets and the rooftops of Prague, while a mysterious entity hunts for them. And that's it guys, you're back up to speed. If you want to see more gaming news, reviews, and release roundups, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss another upload. And I'll see you when I see you. That's awesome.